Hello friends, this is Darkscreen, and today we're going to catch up with Ship of Heroes. Now my last video, it's gotten a lot of views and comments, was regarding the open housing beta. And I really explored that beta to its fullest outside of the housing system, uh, which, you know, I was looking at stuff that maybe they didn't <laughs> intend to showcase as much, but I thought it might be fun to catch up and see what they've done since then. So one of the things that they've posted as a news blog is that they've now implemented their face system, which wasn't quite there uh, when we were exploring the beta, so I think they look pretty good. Now I know uh, not everyone wants to go ahead and read through all these blogs, so I figured I would just quickly scroll through and we could take a look at some of the faces and pictures, but so far so good, right? Looks like we have a lot of variety, they've got some pre-made ones that you can use and then you can modify the pre-made model, so showing off uh, some of their demos here. And one of the things about their blogs that's pretty nice is they put these technical notes at the bottom, so they note that this is common in the superhero MMO genre, that there's no connection between your character's appearance and their powers, so you can mix and match, make some really cool concepts. And it looks like they're going to have a standard costume system where you can have different loadouts. If you're a superhero, you might have a everyday outfit versus your crime fighting outfit or whatever. The next big piece of news, uh, now I know some folks were feeling like this game's been in development for a long time, since 2017 I think. However, it looks like they have a release date and a Steam page, so really Ship of Heroes is starting to become quite tangible as a game. So you can see they've done some graphical updates. They're talking about secret areas that they haven't uh, revealed to the player base yet. And here they're discussing the benefits of using Steam. You know, they're not a large company, so they can't necessarily host a uh, major patch update system. Steam kind of takes care of that, so I think it's a good choice to launch on Steam. So if you are interested in Ship of Heroes, uh, you can actually load it up on Steam and wishlist it. Uh, and they mention here they're launching on Unreal Engine 4, so they haven't moved over to Unreal Engine 5 because they want to actually launch the game. I think that's perfectly reasonable. And the game looks great. Now, it's important to note that it's not that I've lost interest in the game, I, I'm still clearly interested. However, they implemented a uh, beta testing NDA. So, you know, for a little while there they were working on stuff, uh, and I guess they didn't want to share that work. But now they've got their Steam page with some great uh, footage, gameplay footage, some cinematics and stuff if you want to take a look. And last but not least, they made a little uh, story post, a lore post, kind of explaining the world and, and some, of the, some of the things you can find. Looks pretty cool, honestly. Uh, the gist of this post is that they're really going for a, a more inspirational, positive vibe, so I'm sure they'll have a lot of action. It's, it's a video game after all, but it uh, doesn't look like they want to go for the like mean streets, dark and gritty vibe, right? They want to have a city, a flying spaceship city, uh, that's a lot of fun and has a lot of interesting things going on, a lot of bright colors, very positive. So we can see they've gone from 2017, the login test, all the way through, I believe this was all on their in-house servers, up to recently the second player housing beta test, that's the one I covered in my last video. And it's interesting to note in this story post, this lore post, they're talking about some of the technical details, they've improved the graphics, uh, increased the NPC variety, so the civilians that we saw in my last video, uh, they were a little placeholder before, but as they mentioned, compared to the placeholder uses in early testing, uh, they have a lot more animations, appearances, etc. So that sounds great. I can't wait to see it. Now, I know a lot of you out there probably wouldn't want to read all those blogs, so hopefully the summary helped you get caught up. The game's expected to launch by the end of the year, and there may be some more beta test opportunities as well, so keep your eyes peeled, and I'll keep checking back on the game until it launches. If you've enjoyed the coverage, consider liking the video to help it spread to other superhero MMO fans. For me, this game has potential to be a nice, casual, off-season game I play during content droughts in World of Warcraft. Are you interested in Ship of Heroes? Let me know in the comments section below. With that, we've come to the end of this week's coverage. Again, my name is Darkscream. I hope you've enjoyed watching. Peace.